Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got a couple top-tier science articles to hit today, solar interaction with complex natural systems, and a look back at the May 2024 solar storm, but the top story is with our star today, as in over the last few hours. Eruptive activity has taken hold, and while it's not the rise in solar flaring up to M-class range, we do have space weather to diagnose. Already had one NOAA and NASA scientist text me this morning saying they're waiting for this, so did you see it? Nope, definitely not the flaring, was it? That's confined to the departing sunspots on the north. It's the huge plasma filaments. Now, first the good news. These are not liftoff eruptions, which deliver the densest plasma. These are filament snaps due to magnetic instability, where about half the force is downward as you see the tsunamis of fire below the erupted ropes of plasma. Let's go to the coronagraphs, and we'll use the new Core 1. It's early. More data will be coming as the hours tick away, but we can already tell that's a full halo CME. This is confirmed by breadth seen on Stereo A. Definitely going to be an Earth impact around Tuesday. We'll see what they forecast later this afternoon, but it will not be scary. Good auroras are a good possibility, though. Folks, when you get major flooding like we saw in Cincinnati last week, it's going to be bad for several days tracking down the river. Please don't ignore severe flood warnings if you are down the pipeline. The water's coming, and you know that if you live there. And it's coming. Solid article here on how the sun controls the precipitation and temperature through its control of the North Atlantic Oscillation and how that impacts beetles and consequent economic behavior. Excellent article there, linked below in today's list. Along with this one, they look back at the May 2024 solar storm, which is actually making up a notable fraction of peer-reviewed literature these days, and they were able to track the proton penetration to the new radiation belt that was created in the solar storm event, and how the plasma cloud caused a major forebush decrease in muon counts at ground level due to its engulfing the Earth in an extra electric blanket. Still way overblown for what the solar wind telemetry was. And folks, if you haven't heard, we've got even more experts wanting to weigh in for the documentary on Earth's disaster cycle and the sun. We're still grateful to our sponsors, Gold Co., who just hears we need more time for interviews and is like, okay, you guys rock, do whatever. Seriously, when observers support observers, it is epic, and yes, not having any gold or silver is not epic. It's useful in every stage, yes, even after the disaster goldobservers.com. I'll be out at the ranch when quail class ends today, checking the chickens, chatting with any of you who are coming out. Lots in the agenda in the weeks ahead, so go to observerranch.com to check the dates, book your stay, and I can't wait to shake your hand. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.